Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the virtual college fair today. Thank you for joining us. I'm just going to go through a few housekeeping announcements before we get started. You can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenters at any time. Your camera and microphone are off, so the panelists cannot see or hear you. And this is just one of many different sessions happening all week, so be sure to sign up for additional sessions. The presentation is being recorded and will be available within about a week at the same website where you registered. And I'd like to now turn it over to our presenters, and first up is Northwest University. Hey everyone, good morning. Thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, as I'm so excited to connect with you uh, virtually as you've started uh, your college search process. Uh, we at Northwest University, my name is Jereen Johnson, the Assistant Director of Recruitment at Northwest University, and I'm so excited to talk a little bit more about Northwest uh, University. Sorry, just going to present. Perfect. Uh, Northwest University. We are located in Kirkland, Washington. Uh, we are a private Christian university. Uh, Northwest University is very much committed to its, its mission statement as uh, we, the people of Northwest University, carry the call of God by continually building a learning community uh, dedicated to spiritual vitality, academic excellence, and empowered engagement with human need. Uh, that's a mouthful, so I'm going to explain a little bit more of what that looks like. Um, so uh, the first is spiritual vitality. Northwest University is a distinctly Christian university, meaning students are really looking uh, to really pursue their faith uh, and receive a Christ-centered education through courses that really strengthen their theology as well as their identity and vocation. Uh, but they're also looking for uh, being part of a Christ-centered uh, community as well uh, with opportunities to be part of worship uh, gatherings and small groups and uh, really places to really Really develop community uh, with one another. Um, with, with that, uh, we exist uh, to, to also uh, empower students uh, to really pursue their, their, their academic pursuits and really the things that they're, they're passionate about doing uh, right after they graduate from Northwest University. Uh, we have uh, several programs, over 70 of them. Uh, some of the more popular ones are ones like nursing and education, psychology, uh, places like pre-med, uh, exercise science for students who want to go into physical therapy or occupational therapy and, and business as well. We're actually launching several uh, technology programs, which are really exciting. Uh, last year, we launched uh, user experience and design uh, and video production. And this year, we're launching computer science and data science. And next year, we're planning to roll out uh, a program in data science and app development. So there's some really exciting things happening in Northwest, and, and all of this is centered within the uh, empowered engagement with human need, which really emphasizes uh, our service and wanting to uh, really be a community uh, that seeks for the greater good to, to serve others. Uh, and uh, over 80% of our majors include a cross-cultural learning experience. Um, so, for example, all of our nursing majors actually travel to uh, a developing community uh, where they're really serving the human need. So for example, our students um, will travel to Alaska and some of the remote areas to provide human care and, and service, uh, or places like, uh, for example, India or, or the Philippines, and they're traveling abroad to, to really understand different cultures and um, really provide uh, care as well. And then uh, one of the things that Northwest is also committed to is really making sure students are work ready so when they graduate from Northwest University, it's filled, it's a, they have a resume that's filled with experiences, learning initiatives, a portfolio of, of academic experience and internships. And we are blessed to be a part of an incredible area. So this is a map uh, that really shows where Northwest University is located. So we are in uh, the greater east side of Seattle. We are way right down the street uh, from, um, uh, from Google headquarters. And, and all, all the companies and organizations uh, are listed here um, because students have done internships and informational interviews. Uh, we have faculty that, um, that are, are, have taught or have, have taught at Northwest, but have also worked at some of these great companies. And we have currently alumni uh, that are working at these organizations. Our, our, our the Dean of our technology program, he's been at, 
an engineer at Microsoft for over 15 years. Our chief information officer has been a Microsoft executive overseas. Um, the Seattle Seahawks actually built our training fields and our fitness center. So we're really amazed to be part of an incredible community and area and be able to serve uh, all those, all those companies as well. So just a few things. We'd love to connect with you right afterward. There's our Zoom link if you'd like to, to join and connect with us. Again, my name is Julian and I'm our Assistant Director of Recruitment. And, and I also want to connect you with Tyler Perrin, who's our admissions counselor, specifically working with students from Eastern Washington. Uh, we have some really great, um, uh, just some quick updates. Uh, our application for fall 2021 is now open. November 15th is uh, our early action date as well. So if you do apply by then, the application is free. Um, Northwest University is also test score optional. Um, so if, if you uh, would like to apply as a high school student but got your test scores, we will consider that for admissions and academic scholarships. Uh, Northwest is also open. Um, we are operating in a high flex model for our classroom structure. Um, but this does mean that we uh, are, are able to host visitors. Uh, so if you would like to come and visit campus, we would love to have you. Uh, if you guys have any questions, uh, please feel free to reach out to us. Uh, we're so excited to connect with you. Thank you again uh, for, for connecting and thank you so much for uh, the opportunity to talk a little bit more about it. Fantastic, thank you. And so we are here in today's schedule. So ne next is uh, Whitworth University. Good morning, everybody. My name is Jason Tobeck, and I am one of the admissions counselors at Whitworth. I am uh, thrilled to be with you. Appreciate you guys all taking some time to spend uh, with us here. Um, to start with, uh, this first slide, just to give you a QR code, if you'd like to join, I won't be able to cover all the information about Whitworth in the six uh, minutes that we have. But if you want to visit or have other questions, uh, you can scan this QR code or there's a link at the bottom there. It'll take you to a short registration screen that just allows us to send you the Zoom link. Well, what I can tell you about Whitworth is located in Spokane. We are a private liberal arts Christian college north side of Spokane. Education is of mind and heart. You'll be challenged academically at Whitworth, but we're also going to grow you as a person through ways that a lot of which take place through relationships with staff and faculty um, around campus. The size of our campus, we've always been around 2,300 students, hovering between 22 and 23. That allows us to have a very personal experience, but be as large of an institution as possible, offering the Whitworth education to as many students as we can. We've been able to stay at about 11 to one student to faculty ratio, you and you'll find if you have a chance to come to campus we are doing in-person visits to campus if you have a chance to come by you'll find that our classroom settings are mostly less than 30 students um, the kinds of students that we have currently this is some statistics of our current incoming freshman class or the first year students that have enrolled uh, this year we're right around the middle 50 percent being three five to a four point we do have about 25 percent of our class that is uh, over the four point. That just means we accept a weighted GPA or for students in Washington where we're not getting your weighted GPA. If you're taking AP honors, IB classes, well done. When we get your transcripts, we're gonna weight those courses on a 4.5 scale. It allows your GPA that we're considering to be a little higher and it allows us to offer a little higher academic scholarship because you're choosing to take some harder classes. So we appreciate that, we value that, and that's one way for us to compensate you for making some good decisions. And then you can see some of the test scores, uh, the middle 50% of our test scores as well, as you're starting to try to compare different places, what's a good fit for you. Here's an example of our courses we offer, majors, minors, areas of emphasis, we do have around 100 majors, minors, or areas to fo focus on. Um, even though we're a relatively smaller campus, we are able to offer a lot of different options. Uh, we've got a robust 
faculty, and uh, we feel confident that we're going to be able to meet the needs that you have academically. In addition to very good academics, we have an outstanding athletic department. Uh, Division three NCAA, that means if you're very talented as an athlete, you're serious about an athlete or being an athlete, you're gonna have a chance to come to campus, have an outstanding experience, compete at a very high level, have opportunities nationally to compete. Um, but all of your, uh, you're not gonna be offered any aid or scholarships based on your talent. Many of our students have been um, recruited by other places, but they choose Whitworth's experience as an athlete over other places. You'll see there on the bottom stat, we've been the most dominating athletic department in our conference for the last 12, arguably 13 years. 21 varsity sports, 11 for women, 10 for men. So lots of opportunities there. We're also very strong in art and music and theater. Uh, the humanities, we offer some extra scholarships there. We've just put $11 million into the music building re, uh, remodel, finished um, a couple years ago. Our theater, the backstage was rebuilt over the summer and then our art department had a brand new facility built about a decade ago now. But you can see that we invest a lot into those areas. And there are also areas you don't have to major in, you can just be serious about be involved in a theater, be involved in an ensemble for music, uh, but still go and be a business person or a doctor. Um, and there's some extra scholarships involved. So let me know in the following Zoom meeting if you have some questions about that. How to apply. We've got free applications. There's no cost to apply at Whitworth. The Common App, the Whitworth App, or the Act 6 App all work just fine. We only need, in addition to your application, a transcript. Um, and then uh, the application is going to complete the, the process. Test scores and academic recommendations this year are optional. Um, the highlight is uh, November 15th, early action one deadline. I'd like to make sure that uh, those that are interested in Whitworth get that to us. And then October 1st, be sure to get your FAFSA to us so we know how much financial aid we can offer you. The um, uh, all of our incoming first year students receive financial aid. You can see the average uh, grant and scholarship amount was very uh, healthy. So I encourage you to get the application in as soon as you can. And then here's a look at all of our different scholarships. The university scholarship is your academic scholarship. There's a housing grant, visit campus for a thousand dollars and others. So come visit me in the Zoom meeting and like to visit with you more. Here's a, a look at the QR code if needed. Thank you. Have a great morning. Thank you. And next up is Gonzaga University. Good morning, everyone. Um, my name is Carrie Weeks and I'm Associate Director of Admission here at Gonzaga and I want to share some information with you. Um, Gonzaga is a private Catholic Jesuit liberal arts university um, and the Jesuits are renowned for providing holistic development of mind, body, and spirit. And at Gonzaga that's what we do. We focus on what's called cura personalis. It's the Latin term for the care of the whole person. Uh, Gonzaga is a top 20% nationally ranked university that educates students from many different faiths and backgrounds for lives of leadership and service for the common good. We are located just across the Spokane River from downtown Spokane, so it's about a 10 to 15 minute walk on the Centennial Trail. It's a great proximity for internships, shopping, restaurants, and more. Um, Gonzaga is a medium-sized university with just over 5,300 undergraduate students who hail from almost all 50 states and about 40 countries. About half of our population is Catholic, the other half are mostly other Christian denominations, and some are other religions as well, and some have no particular religious background. We have students from about 24 different faith backgrounds, and our faculty and staff mirror this religious diversity. 
We have over 75 different majors and programs um, within five colleges. You can see those listed on your screen there. There's an emphasis on into, um, interdisciplinary and hands-on experiences such as internships, research, and field work. There's an average class size of 22 and a student to faculty ratio of 11 to 1 and faculty teaching all the courses and labs. So we're able to offer personal attention and advising. And in fact, we are ranked in the top 5% nationally for best undergraduate teaching. We have happy students with 94% of them returning for their second year. Um, and successful graduates um, with 94% uh, continuing, or excuse me, 94% of them working in graduate school or doing full-time service work just six months after graduation. We also have a very supportive environment. 83% of our students come from over 200 miles away. Um, so Gonzaga offers great academic challenges, but we do that with a lot of support. Uh, we offer 130 different clubs and organizations, 800 student leadership positions. We have strong residence hall communities where our first and second year students live, though it is optional for the students in the Spokane area to live at home. We also have lots of speakers and dances, cultural festivals, um, Division I athletics, as well as intramural and club sports, both very popular. We have optional retreats and advocacy opportunities too. We also have a number of excellent resources that we provide for students, such as our Center for Student Academic Success, which includes our Disability Access Office for students with learning differences and free tutoring in about 20 different subject areas. I'd also like to highlight our Unity Multicultural Education Center and our Lincoln LGBTQ Plus Resource Center. Um, they are both great resources and a home away from home for students in these communities, as well as excellent places where students can share their leadership gifts. We use the common application for admission or the Act 6 leadership scholarship application for admission and you only fill out one of the two of those um, to determine both admission as well as merit scholarships. Both are due December 1st and students who are interested in nursing and engineering do need to list that in the application to be admitted to that major. We are test optional for admission to all of our majors, to the honors program, and all scholarships for the class of 2021. So you can choose to submit a score or not if you have one. Our middle 50% of students who um, were admitted this last year were between a 3.53 and a 3.9 with an unweighted GPA. We do consider the difficulty of your curriculum along with other holistic factors such as writing, extracurricular activities, and character as well. December 1st, is also the priority award deadline for the FAFSA. And that's how you can access any federal, state, or need-based aid. If a student is unable to fill out a FAFSA and lives in Washington, then they can file a WASFA to access state and Gonzaga aid. As you can see, 99% of our students earn scholarships and grants. Um, and we also offer many other separate application scholarships, such as the Honors Program, Gonzaga Leaders, the Act 6 Leadership Scholarship, which covers tuition and a student's financial need. Additionally, we have the MAJUS commitment, which is Gonzaga University's commitment to providing grants and scholarships to cover the cost of tuition for first year students who have a permanent address in Washington and qualify for the federal Pell Grant through filling out a FAFSA. My last slide here will give you our Zoom link for 9 a.m. meeting. I hope this has given you a taste of the Gonzaga experience and I encourage you to attend our full session at 9 and like, like I said, you can see that Zoom link on the screen. So I welcome your questions at the end and go Zags. to uh, drop their questions in the Q&A chat box throughout the presentation as well. Um, if you'd like to check in with somebody who's already presented, um, since they'll be able to go ahead and answer your questions already. So our next presenter is Seattle Pacific University. Good morning, and again, thank you for joining us today. I'm going to ask you, um, please forgive me. I woke up with a little bit of a croaky voice this morning. If you can't hear me enough, <laughs> um, please go ahead and turn up the sound on your computer. But I'm going to go ahead and jump in with who SPU is. We are a um, private liberal arts Christian university grounded in the Christian faith. We are a small university. We're about 2,700 undergraduate students with about a 13 to 1 student to faculty ratio. Um, and we are here to provide you an experience that um, encourages you and your growth to be a courageous and gracious contributor in our diverse and changing world. And we'll jump into that a little bit in the future too. We are also a nationally recognized university. 
um, as you can see down here. <clears throat> when we talk about SPU, we have three things that we like to highlight. The first is the Seattle advantage. Um, Seattle, of course, is a world-class city. And um, with that comes a lot of internship and job opportunities for you as an SPU student. We have a great robust mentorship program that is um, that connects you with alumni that graduated from SPU that are now in the fields of interest for you as a career. Um, from big Fortune 500 companies that uh, are here in Seattle to smaller companies, smaller organizations as well. In terms of where we're located in Seattle, you're looking at downtown right here with the Space Needle, of course, and we are just over that hill. This is Queen Anne here. It's a quiet residential neighborhood. So you really get the best of both worlds with um, 15 minute drive access to the city, but a little bit removed in a neighborhood that's a little bit more quiet and probably more conducive to studying as well as relaxing. Um, when it comes to our academics, we like to say that they are inspiring. You're here not only to get an education and learn material that will support you um, as you go off into your career, but you are put into classrooms with teachers that are there to help you understand the material and connect that with your values so that when you are going off into your career and off into your postgraduate life, um, you know how to take in information um, from around you and, and use it in the ways that you would like so that you're living your life the way that you would like to. <clears throat> That's on campus. Um, outside of the classroom, we also have support systems within our library. Each major, um, excuse me, each department has its own librarian. So an individual who has um, even deeper understanding of your area of knowledge and knows exactly where you are in your syllabus as well, um, as well as study centers and other resources for students on campus. Off campus, we have um, over 300 study abroad programs, and we really do encourage students to make use of that and to take at least a quarter to go study abroad. Um, it's a great way to not only uh, complete some of your college credits, but also to experience life in a different culture. Um, oh, before I move on, we have 71 majors and 59 minors for you to choose from, including a self-designed major. So if you're someone who has very particular interests and you want to combine all of those interests together into one major, you do have the opportunity to do so. Finally, we are a, a university that is grounded in Christian faith. What that looks like for us, besides the three um, required uh, core classes there, is um, resources on campus for you as you are um, exploring what faith means to you, exploring what faith is if you're not someone who comes from a faith background. All of your faculty on campus are Christian. Um, as well as uh, staff and other resources on campus. But um, this is a time for you to explore what faith means to you, explore those bigger questions, um, those deeper thoughts as well. Um, and we do encourage, besides uh, the resources we have on campus, students to get off campus and to be serving in the city too, and to be learning about social and cultural issues um, off campus as they are um, exploring the, your course material in campus, on campus, excuse me. Other than that, student life is also really important. We are a small campus and there is a lot to do on campus, um, both for you to participate in and for you to be a leader in as well. And we do encourage students to do that um, during your time here. Moving into application materials, um, required this year is your uh, application either on the Common App or with our SPU specific application and your official transcript sent directly from your school. Other than that, SAT and ACT scores are optional this year. Letters of recommendation are optional, although strongly encouraged, and we do offer an interview as well. You can connect with us to set that up. <clears throat> In terms of timeline, our early action deadline is November 1st, and I'd encourage, especially if you are interested in direct admittance to our nursing program or our business program, which are both competitive majors, to get your application in by November 1st, as well as your FAFSA or WASFA. Otherwise, January 15th is your deadline. <clears throat> And then moving on from that, um, SPU is reducing our tuition by 25% this year. So you are looking at a sticker price of 35,100. Um, I do wanna point out 95% of our students receive financial aid. Um, and you can take a look as well as some of, at some of our merit scholarships here. I'd encourage you to take a look at this link up here for a little bit more depth into these scholarships and other scholarships that are available as well. Um, but just by applying to SPU, you um, are eligible for some of these scholarships or your, your um, application is reviewed for some of those scholarships. If you are a college-bound student, we do have a Falcon-bound program as well. If you're eligible for um, 
college bound, I'd strongly encourage you to apply to SPUNC um, and also receive that free tuition. Please do connect with us as well. After this, we have a lot of events online for you to get to know our school. And other than that, I'd encourage you to um, connect with us over Zoom later. You can follow this link. Thank you. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Um, so our presenter from Cornish College of the Arts has not joined us. So we're just going to go straight on to St. Martin's University. Alrighty, perfect. Good morning, everyone. Um, so my name is Abby Cariotti, and I am the admissions counselor that gets to work with the Spokane area from St. Martin's. So you'll get to hear a little bit more about us today. So St. Martin's is located in Lacey, Washington. Um, we're only about five miles from the Capitol building of, in the Capitol of Olympia in Washington State. So it's really nice because you have an opportunity to get to go explore the Capitol. A lot of our students get to intern and there's a lot of opportunities around the Capitol itself. We are only about an hour and a half from Seattle, of course, depending on traffic, and then about two from Portland. So you're really nice because you're right in between two major cities with Olympia super close. And St. Martin's itself sits on 380 acres of beautiful land where you, there's lots of trails. If you are a runner, like to be outside, there's lots of area where you can go and be outside, but still be on campus and explore, explore the area of Lacey itself. We do have um, a lot of different academic programs on campus, so you can kind of see a list here. Our top five that we tend to see students really engaged in are our, extra, um, excuse me, our engineering programs, both civil and mechanical, exercise science, nursing, and then education kind of slash psychology as well. So all of those programs are absolutely fantastic. With our engineering programs in particular, we have four plus one programs where you can get your master's in engineering on our campus within five years, which is a great opportunity for you. We also just finished a $3.5 million renovation on our brand new nursing wing. So that is up and running and it's gorgeous. Uh, with our academic programs, we do have a 12 to 1 student to faculty ratio. All of our classes are taught by professors and you really get a chance to get to know your professors. With about 1,300 undergraduate students on our campus, it is a fairly small campus environment. We have two to 300 graduate students as well and then we just started our very first PhD program. A little bit more about life on campus. So we have 40 plus clubs and organizations. There's opportunities for you to be involved in more cultural based clubs. Our Hawaii club is actually our largest club on campus and they throw a huge luau every year. You can join more academic based clubs where you've got biology or chemistry club, do some things like that. We also have more fun clubs. So we have a gaming club. There is a uh, Harry Potter club. I keep waiting for a Game of Thrones club. We are a Catholic Benedictine University. With that said, you do not have to be Catholic to attend St. Martin's. We have 26 different faiths on campus and we really celebrate all, all faiths. We have a Muslim prayer room, lots of different opportunities for prayer rooms all over campus. So keeping that in mind. Perfect. And then we have about 34% of our students are first generation college students. And what we really like to emphasize is that you don't always know what you don't know. So making sure that you're asking those questions as you're going through the admissions process. As you, as you heard from all of us today, we all like to talk. So please be reaching out and asking us those questions because if you don't know something, we're here to help you figure that out. Alrighty, so why St. Martin's? 90% of our students are placed within six months and the national average is about 76%. One of the words, so that placed means that we are either in grad school or within a job of, within your field within six months of graduation. And St. Martin's decided that's not good enough for us. We really are here to help you succeed in your goals after college. So we just started a brand new program called the Saints Promise. So all of our incoming students will get to participate in this program if you choose. With the Saints Promise, if you come in and start working with our Career Center, you'll sign a contract with them saying that, hey, I wanna, I wanna do the Saints Promise and I'm gonna work on my resume and cover letter and some different requirements throughout each semester of your four years at St. Martin's. And you'll attend an etiquette dinner and a lot of different events. And if you do all of the steps of the Saints Promise, we guarantee that you will be placed either in a grad school or in a job within six months of graduation. And if not, we guarantee we'll give you a three month paid internship. 
And the great thing about that three month paid internship is that it's gonna be a great resume builder. It will sometimes turn into a job and it just kind of gets you started on where you're wanting to go. So really St. Martin's is dedicated to helping you achieve the goals that you want to. So participating in a Saint's Promise is a great way to do that. A little bit about our application. So for our first year students, we are on the Common App. Um, we are also have our free application on our website. Our application is free no matter where you choose to do it. We do require a personal essay, your official high school transcripts, and a letter of recommendation from a teacher or a high school counselor. We are SAT or ACT optional, so no need to send those if you don't want to. Um, if you have any questions about whether you should send them or not, let us know. We also um, are rolling admissions. So with rolling admissions means that our application opened on August 1st and it will be open all the way through until July. So you have plenty of time to get those applications in and we will continue to read applications. We also guarantee that if you get your application, all of the pieces of your application in, we will get you a decision back within two to three weeks. So you'll, you'll hear back from us really quickly about scholarships and that types of, those types of things. We also award 100% of our students receive merit scholarships. So our merit scholarships go anywhere from $5,000 a year up to $23,000 a year for four years. And we will award those once we read your application. Alrighty, if you have any questions, here is my contact information. I am happy to talk with anyone. And then of course I will be on a Zoom afterwards. So pop in there and ask me some more questions. Thank you. All right, everyone, uh, thank you so much. So we are working, and I'm gonna pull up the schedule once again. Uh, we are working on uh, getting our presenter from Cornish College of the Arts uh, on, onto the presenting side, so they'll be able to uh, share their information with you. Um, but in the meantime, I wanna just open it up and again remind you of the Q&A while, um, while we get that sorted. So just hang tight, and we'll be able to hear from them in just a couple of moments. And Taylor, you should be good to go. Okay, excellent, thank you. Um, hello everyone, my name is Taylor Bednars and I'm with Cornish College of the Arts. Um, let me pull up my presentation here really quick.
Wonderful. Well, welcome everyone. Um, once again, my name is Taylor Bednarz. I'm with Cornish College of the Arts. Uh, Cornish is a small visual and performing arts college located in Seattle, Washington. Um, we have been around for over 100 years and we're one of the only colleges of art in the United States that offers degrees exclusively in both visual and performing arts. The college was founded in 1914 by Nellie Cornish. Um, her and many of the practicing artists that followed her believe that education in the arts should be taught by exposure to all of the arts. Um, and in doing so, Cornish has put together a um, curriculum and a program that has lasted over 100 years. Um, our mission at Cornish is to provide students aspiring to become practicing artists with an educational program of the highest possible quality while in an environment that nurtures creativity and intellectual curiosity. Cornish prepares students uh, to become artists, citizens, and innovators. Cornish realizes this mission by offering professional degrees that lead in public presentation, artistic criticism, and a discussion of all of the arts. Our creative degrees are designed to build and build skills for artists uh, in navigating the professional landscape of the 21st century. We educate artists in critical thinking, creative problem solving, collaboration, and the generation of new work. Uh, we do this by applying that into a practical, um, into a practical landscape. Our students will focus in both traditional, interdisciplinary, and experimental forms of art making. Our faculty are all working professional artists um, who guide students through individualized presentations, mentorship, uh, and help them develop professional skills and connections. While our community is dedicated to small classes, uh, mentorship and in personalized instruction, with the average class size being 13 and our student faculty ratio seven to one, Cornish um, artists studying at Cornish uh, receive the individualized and personal instruction they need to find professional um, professional connections. Uh, we have an urban campus, uh, which is also immersed in arts and culture of Seattle, uh, one of the world's epicenters for visual and performing arts, making it an ideal city to pursue your artistic education. Um, Seattle is actually the fourth largest art scene in the United States, housing some of the country's best live music, theater, dance companies, and um, a very popular music scene that has garnered both international and national support. Um, with about 20 live theater venues and Pioneer Square being one of the country's most predominant art gallery districts, Seattle is home to a variety of different resources for emerging artists, including things like the Fifth Avenue Theater, uh, the Seattle International Film Festival, the Seattle Art Museum, and the Upstream and Bumper Shoot Music Festival just to name a few. And Cornish, um, as a thriving professional community, also has dozens of resources for young creatives to get their start and foothold in the professional industry. Um, Cornish is excited to be a forefront and a focal point in supporting these different festivals, events, and organizations. Our urban campus is located directly in South Lake Union and is surrounded by creative agencies, architecture, design firms, and many nonprofits within walking distance. Uh, so you'll find Cornish alumni, faculty, and um, students making bold and innovative work everywhere. I like to say every time you uh, have a holiday Starbucks cup, that's a Cornish student. Um, so once again, yeah. Um, we have dozens of performance and professional spaces for students to study. Uh, for visual art majors, we have access to creative studios, as well as media labs, editing bays, suites, and many more. Um, performance artists also rehearse in professional arrays of spaces, including black box theaters, historic concert halls, and the iconic Cornish Playhouse, which is our large um, uh, semi-thrust theater that seats about uh, 700, student, or 700 in the Seattle Center. Um, Cornish trains students from 38 states and 18 countries, with many of them choosing to live at the Cornish Commons, which is our 20-story state-of-the-art residence hall building, um, built with artists in mind. The Cornish community features plenty of space and uh, special amenities like private baths, movement studios, um, practice rooms, and, art, and an art studio dedicated to students. The 20th floor is reserved for all residents 
um, and it boasts an amazing 360 degree view of the city. Cornish offers a bachelor's of arts, uh, a bachelor's of fine arts as well, um, in the degrees of animation. So we offer a BFA in animation, art, design, uh, dance, interior architecture, object design, technical theater, environmental graphics, film, illustration, musical theater, and original works. We offer a BA in music. And for students that have achieved an associate's degree or higher, we also have a specialized bachelor's of arts track in art, dance, music, theater, technical theater, and film. Last year, uh, Cornish College of the Arts became one of the first arts colleges in the United States and one of the first colleges in the West Coast to lower its tuition by 20%. Cornish offers over 6 million in scholarships each year to about 95% of its students with all admitted students being automatically considered for merit scholarships. They're guaranteed for all four years. These are scholarships you do not have to apply for. They are automatically applied to your application. Um, students that are interested in pursuing the um, in applications, uh, we look for your high school transcripts, letters of recommendation, personal statement, as well as um, optional test scores. But we do look for a portfolio or an audition. All of those will be virtual via 2020. Um, here are some of our deadlines for preparation. Um, so if you'd like to learn more, you can visit us at cornish.edu. And additionally, here is going to be my Zoom meeting ID for all interested students who would like to have a more informed information session with us. You can just copy this link into your meeting IDs. All right, thank you everyone. Great, thank you so much to all of our presenters. Um, so we have just a couple of minutes. If anybody has any questions that they'd like to address to the full panel, otherwise I know you have some breakout sessions coming up. So I'll just leave that open and again, direct your attention to the Q&A for just a couple of minutes. Great, and with that, I'm going to wrap up this six by six session. I wanna thank all the panelists and participants for joining us this morning. When you close the window, there will be a link to a very quick four question survey. We'd appreciate any feedback you can provide. And again, this was just one of many sessions that we're offering. Uh, so be sure to sign up for additional sessions. And in about a week, you'll be able to find the sessions recording as well as all of the other sessions recording on our website. Thank you all, and I'm sure I'll be seeing a few of you at some later sessions today as well. And if not, have a great day.